So Phil from Spiderweb Design dropped me a message on Twitter the other day asking me if I'd seen the WordPress Playground option. This is a kind of newish feature that allows us to easily spin up a copy of WordPress directly inside our browser and also do several other things. So let's take a quick look at what it does and how you can start using it for yourself for various different reasons. So what exactly is the WordPress Playground? Well, in a nutshell, it allows you to run WordPress inside your browser. And you're probably thinking, but Paul, we already run WordPress in our browser anyway. And yes, you do, but this is slightly different. For this, you don't need to have any hosting for yourself. And basically, imagine this like a little contained environment. Let's tell you what, let me just, let me just show you. Follow the link in the description. All you need to do is come down and say, try the WordPress Playground and that will then spin up a copy of a temporary copy of WordPress in your browser. Now you'll see we've got this kind of dedicated little sort of environment and we have some options. Now this is a normal standard WordPress install and we can, if we want to, go ahead and access the dashboard. There's our dashboard, all the things you're used to seeing and you can access plugins and so on. And we can, if we try, click on add new, you'll see we get this little error message. And this basically means because we don't have access to the actual hosting itself, and we don't have access to connecting it up to the normal WordPress repository for themes and plugins and so on, you just need to download them to your own computer and then upload them directly into this copy of WordPress. So let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. Let's say we wanted to test out SEO Press on our website just to make sure that everything works. We may have a specific setup and we don't want to install this plugin on our live site. We can easily go ahead and just download it inside here. Now you could also do this if you were working with a stage site and so on, but this is just so much quicker if all you want to do is test compatibility with a particular version of WordPress. So let's download this to our computer Computer, go back to our playground and all we're going to do is say upload plugin we'll drag that from the drop it install it and there we go it's now installed we can just simply activate it and we now have a copy of SEO press installed on this setup and now we can go ahead and test it so there's nothing you kind of haven't seen inside WordPress it's just now in this semi-contained environment and the same thing goes for themes let's say for example you wanted to test this with a copy of Bloxy with a particular design and so on well you could do exactly the same thing here you could hop back over go ahead and find the theme that you want we'll search for Bloxy we'll simply download this hop into the theme section under appearance Add our new theme. Again, you see you get the same error message, but that's fine. We'll say upload theme. We'll drag and drop that in and install it. We'll activate it. And we now have Bloxy installed. We can go ahead and install the Bloxy companion. And now we have a copy of Bloxy installed. So we can go ahead and we can customize and test things out and make sure everything works the way that we wanted to. It's a pretty cool environment. Now, the other thing that's really useful about this is you could just as easily use this to kind of set things up, test things out, and make sure you're happy with things. And then once you're happy with the entire setup, you can easily go ahead and you can click to download this entire website. So we click the download option in the top right-hand corner. That will now download a zip file of the entire site, including the SQL, so you can get the database set up. So you could use this to test things out, set up a design, get everything working the way you want, and then you could offload that, just simply download it to your actual hosting account itself. And if we open this up, we can see we've got a full copy of the entire website, including all content and everything else that goes with it. And like I say, including the database files. So now we could easily upload that anywhere else. And we could even upload this to another copy of the actual playground. So I've run up another instance of playground and let's do something interesting. You can see at the moment we've got PHP version 8 and WordPress 6.2. Well, we can click and we can change various different aspects of this. So we may want to try this on an earlier version of PHP. We could say we want to roll it back to say 7.0. And we might even want to roll this back to say WordPress 5.9. Click apply changes. And now we're running an older version of WordPress on PHP 7.0. If we go into the dashboard, you'll see we're on 5.9. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can upload. So we can choose the upload option in the top right hand corner. Choose the file. So there's our WordPress playground zip file. We'll click open and import. And as you can see, everything looks to be working perfectly fine inside this environment. So if we were running this on an older version of WordPress, we could see that we could still get things up and running without too many issues, if any at all. So it's kind of useful how you can run all this. So you could easily use this to create layouts and themes and so on with full site editing, many different reasons. And then you could export that and you could import it into another example of this, or you could import it into an actual live website.
And in a nutshell, that basically is the WordPress Playground. It's a really useful little environment to be able to spin up localized versions of WordPress, test things out, try things, export them, import them, do those kinds of things. Now, while this is a really useful little service for testing things out and play things, for me, it's not as useful or as powerful as the tool that I use, which is InstaWP. I've been using this for quite some time, and this allows me, to, again, to spin up very quick copies of WordPress, but these are hosted in a location I can access to database files and things like that. I can lock these so I can actually keep them active. So if I'm using this to test things out or develop sites for a client, I have all the same facilities, including the ability to easily install plugins and themes and so on at the click of a button this is something that I think is infinitely better but if all you want to do is test things out then check out WordPress Playground I think it's really really interesting as always all applicable links are in the description down below let me have your thoughts in the comment section and my name is Paul C this is WP Tuts until next time take care